And as soon as that decision is made, as soon as that decision is made, it sorts one way or the other. What about feeding it in? On the scale. What about feeding on the scale? That's why training is important on... Someone's posting that gate behind them, though? That gate behind them? No, it is automatically... The lamb is on the scale, and then it is weighed, and right. if it hits that preset, it goes one way or the other. And then after a time, however many second delay or whatever part of a second, that back gate will open up. The next one hopefully will enter using only one. Only one. Should. But but the neat thing about it is people will use proximity switches or photo switches on those gates there. And those gates have kind of a scissor action or a folding a folding action. And they, until that proximity switch, either a proximity switch detects metal or a uh, photo switch detects a color change. Until that switch is fully detected and energized because it will not create that loop back to the circuitry, that those doors will keep fluctuating until that time and hopefully go ahead and push the analog in. So even a nose to butt would, would break the color change or so it would yes. actually shut yes. down? It should. It should. But if they're coming in where you have a solid mass. If you have a solid mass, then it's probably going to stay on. Yes. A butt, a butt to butt should even. Should even. Yeah. It should should even. even. It's like your photo switch on your on your console. It should just be a, you know, your bin levels. It should be the same way. That should just cut it off right there and then either break the outer wire, break the circuitry, or open the circuitry. So it or either break the circuitry or continue the circuitry so that that current flows back and then that gives you that input or output on it. Okay, so some of the manufacturers we have are Gallagher, Peekill Industries, Hdale Engineering, Lytons, and uh, Farmway, Growmaster, and Osborne Industries are all on the pig, are all on the pig side. But there's nobody really doing this in cattle. I mean, you're not going to run. You're going to run a calf through, and you're going to put them in a silencer shoot or whatever. You're going to run them on a group scale, and there's there's larger trained animals. So you're not going to try and run that kind of volume through that we were talking about to get that kind of weight. You'll you'll do it in larger load lots or through a scale that's already on a shoot somewhere else, just because of the physics and everything. Um, and all these people have. Scales of some type, uh, Gallagher's, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Peak Hills, Australia, Racewell's one that I forgot to put on there as well, they make one. Um, HDL Engineering is out of New Zealand, Lydens is European, Farmway is Canadian, Girl Master is Canadian, and Osborne Industries is based here in Kansas. So, and here's just a few pictures. This is actually the Peak Hill Dubair. They've also got a uh, restrained strainer type uh, strainer type setup <clears throat> for use that uh, clamp with the various things. <clears throat> this one up here is a farm way and this one down here is the items. Uh, just various various types, various designs. This is actually that's not really even scale type. I think there is a scale back there in the back so I pull that picture. But uh, that's what I've got on scales. Um, Barrett, let's talk a minute on that group versus single. We got a geneticist here. So we've got a given set of genetics, both sire and female. And I'm just trying to be lazy here. Is there a, that much benefit to identifying each you trying to find super use? Or I know that probably needs to be done in the seed stock industry or commercially. Uh, is there much to gain for Given set today, um, trying to find a superior use group. The right of the seed stock is to be that very important. From a commercial standpoint, I probably more concerned about calling the bottom and end off the management issues and things like that than trying to identify the problem. But in my flock, I sometimes don't even know. I mean, it's obvious the one that's really bad. She doesn't raise a lamb. 
some are floating through that probably need to be cold, but maybe I don't know which one's the better one, so you know, keep like 200 feet lamps in here or whatever. And the bottom, the very, very worst, probably gets cold off, but, but uh, that's probably fairly effective. Uh, either they got a bad under or they can't walk through it, or there's, it seems like we always have enough sheets of cold and something goes wrong. So. But that's what we're lacking too. We don't have a seed stock in the house. So so we have to the farming and the chickens. Yeah. They they can control their seed stock. They're all producing. Yeah. And and uh, I, I, if I can regulate the a sow in a confinement building from right here by getting on that computer, a sow we can Wyoming, if I can change what she's getting for nutrient genetics right now, if I can change that, that one individual sow, make her more efficient, if I can change her from five pounds to seven pounds, because she's light, and that saves one piglet, just by me hopping on the computer there, is it worth it to individually manage it? That's, if you that's got enough of them. If you got enough of <laughs> But if I can get on there, if I can get on there individually manage, I don't care, you're not going to do it, Ron, because we aren't going to do it because we're feeding forages right now. We're feeding feeds that are cheap enough to grow. And if we get, we hope that we get two lambs per year. That's what we're praying to God that we get. And every day we go down and pray that we get two lambs. Okay. When the point comes that you need to up that efficiency, to make sure that you have two lambs for your bottom line, I believe you will do it. It's like managing your water on your corn. You're going to manage that to maximize your profitability. And that's all I'm trying to get people to think about. Is that, you know, we can work our butts off every day, and, and we've done it. I mean, I, I mean, I've done it for Doc, I've done it for my folks. You know, I, I've been there. And, and we've done it and tried to make some of these decisions and stuff. And why not use the technology that's there if we can do it I mean, it's not going to reduce your workload. I guess that's what I'm getting at, is it's not going to reduce your workload, but maybe, maybe you can leave something better for your girls to come back to, or the rest of us to use, that are better genetics, a better set of views, that are going to be more profitable, and take care of you. You, uh, you say it's not going to reduce your workload, but, but the days of going through barn records at the kitchen table and using the formula is making a mistake. Yeah, we're way past that with this kind of technology is just you know, well it's a different it's a different food. type of work it's more enjoyable I, I guarantee you it's more enjoyable to sit down in front of the computer have Skype up have Facebook up have the markets up have We're your cell phone work, work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I, I know some people that know some people you know so but have the markets up or whatever on a cold day like yesterday be sitting there with your coffee you know <laughs> You were supposed to be out of me. I was out of me. I'm just saying other people, you know. You, you bred your own humans. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we bought some you lambs out of Iowa. And, and I like my own home-raised you lambs better. So, are we kind of the seed stock producers? I mean... Well, and that's just the... You know, I, we kept 250 ewe lambs this year, and I can't tell you which is out of the best ewes and which is out of the worst. I just kept them because I need them, and I, I could afford to keep them. I don't know which ones are the better. I, I think well, 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 my genetics as a group will that support me? That's that's my question. It, it, well, given genetics, will that support me to keep me efficient? One of, one of the places where I see it is for all this too. I mean, the simple ones being the when you're sorting, when, when you're weaning or whatever, and I'm going to pick on but we've got two, the Romanoff crosses that sometimes you've got a wool coat, sometimes you've got more hair. And you can have something run through there, and you, lots of times you're still just eyeballing as you come by for weight. And some of those ones that have really thick wool or whatever on them, they look bigger, but if you've got a weight on them and they're going, oh, they're not there, he's all he's, yeah. yeah. So you're going to, maybe if you've got a... I think on, on, the, the individually, when you're loading the truck, 
that time the individual weight is good.